this your boy T Mizzle coming back again with another video and today we're going to discuss uh, some defense strategies and uh, just an overview of uh, my free for Mizzle account take a look at what I've done what's going on with uh, my progress okay all right so let's jump right into this thing um, first thing uh, just want you to take a look at this base um, this is uh, of course you can see free for Mizzle my free to play account and I have not bought any gold. Um, I have done some tap joint offers, and basically that's it. That's what I've gotten accomplished right here. Um, I have my headquarters to level 10. Um, I'm actually going to be upgrading this uh, in the next uh, hour and 24 minutes. Once that, uh, once this uh, level 7 tower is done, upgrading to level 8, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my headquarters to town hall. Um, excuse me, headquarters level. 11 so I will be starting that upgrade tonight um, but we are going to be talking about defense today and just to jump right into this once you get um, I say once you you know kind of get your base going and you've leveled up a few buildings to you know where do you, where you start having to wait because you have to build up enough cash and, and stuff like that you know kind of where you get to that point where things slow down as far as upgrading you know, I mean, it's not important until then. Like, for instance, right now, um, I've upgraded my town hall, I mean, my headquarters to 10. I've gotten my banks up to 7, 8, 9. <laughs> That's funny. Um, my, my uh, the Mart, I have these up to what? 8, 7, 8, and 9. Same as my banks. So I can still do a couple of these, but I have enough um, storage to hold a significant amount of cash and juice for right now. So. I mean, I'm going to continue to upgrade those things. Like I said, always have two things upgrading at a time. If you only have two builders, which that's all we have. So I will do those, but they are not as high priority as they were before because now I can hold enough cash and juice to do what I need to do as far as my upgrades. Okay. So um, what I recommend you do once you get to this point where you're kind of stuck and you're starting to think, okay, what should I prioritize on upgrading? Well, because this is a defensive video. I'm going to tell you the two things you want to upgrade once you get to this level okay you want to upgrade your boss bases and your towers okay these are going to be the most important defensive items to upgrade at this point your soldier camps are not so important I mean of course you can upgrade up to I mean mine's only level four which is decent it's not any high it's not too high but your soldier camps are not really a big deal because they're going to get they're going to die easily anyway bosses will kill soldiers no matter what so don't worry about those as much you can upgrade those as you go as needed depending on your attack strategy and, and what you want to use when you go and attack on your raids but don't worry about your soldier camps for your defense worry about your towers and your boss bases so right now my boss bases are five, I think fours and fives, or maybe all fives. Let's see, fours. Okay, I got, I still have two fours and three fives. I'm going to continue to upgrade those um, along with my towers. I'm going to focus on my towers mostly. I'm trying to get those to the first level ten because once you get them to level ten, that's when you start getting the more powerful towers. They start over at level one, then two, then three, and all the way up to ten again. I want to get those up to level ten as fast as possible because once you hit level ten, you can start adding. You can they get the garrison where you can add in uh, bosses to them and make them even more powerful. Powerful. And I tell you right now, towers are very very strong when it comes to high level playing and high level rating because those towers along with some strong bosses are going to crush any attacker that comes in that's legit okay it's not going to affect the hackers and we all know that but right now we're just talking about if you want to have a strong defensive base not worried about hackers your towers and your boss bases are your main thing so i would recommend you get your boss bases up to you know as high as you can i mean uh try to get them up try to upgrade the, the boss bases you know to 10 as quickly as possible as well but between the towers and the boss base you know just rotate in and out however you want to do it you can kind of judge by the attacks you've been hit with okay so far in this account i've only been hit what actually twice by the same guy and as you can see the defense held up pretty well okay um he attacked the first time i lost 12 i don't know he must have got disconnected so he tried again on this time he did kill two bosses that was my, he killed my level 60 hazmat and my potato squeeze was 41 but I took out all his bosses okay and they were very low but still the point is he had a unsuccessful attack and did not take any cash and barely got any juice so that was very good defense 
once we get rid of hackers, that's the kind of that's the kind of defense you want from your base. You want attackers to get stopped in their tracks. And if you have your towers level and your boss bases level to the match pretty much your headquarters grade you will be just fine okay now very important thing here is as you can see my boss bases are very close together and they're in the center okay um, this is the key to having a very effective defense and I'm gonna zoom in here I'll zoom out a little bit I'm gonna tell anyone who wants to have a set a nice defense you know to put your boss bases in the middle of your or your base and the key here is having them overlap and what I mean by overlap is if you click on one of them it'll put a circle this is the perimeter in which this boss will actually go and protect okay all you got to do is click on it and what and and basically what you want if somebody comes in over here this boss will attack and this boss next to him will attack not only that but these boss bases will attack anywhere they attack on this base there's going to be two or three different defensive items attacking them you're gonna you're gonna have two or three bosses going on them and the towers at once that's the importance of having everything close together like this so that they attack all together on, on all ends of your base okay very important along with doing this try to put your most valuable resources close to those items okay as you can see my banks which are my most important I think because cash is the hardest thing to achieve put your cash as close as you can to these bases and these towers so mine are right in the middle so if anybody tries to touch any of these cash you're going to get my bosses and these towers all of them are going to be attacking them in at any one of these places in the uh on the uh, boss base okay same thing with my juice i mean yeah my juice um of course your juice in my opinion juice you can get juice a lot faster than cash so you put those farther away i put <laughs> cash first then juice <laughs> that's basically what i go by cash then juice that's the way i roll all right so you see where all my stuff is at it's close to my boss bases and then everything else you kind of just filter where you can you know depend on your design put them around where you want i mean you still can keep them close if you want i have my soldier camps right here kind of on each corner um these don't offer a whole lot of defense but you figure it with the soldier camps plus the the bosses plus the towers that makes for a very very powerful defense so this is the style of defense i recommend for anybody who looking to set up a site a nice defense um, especially once we get the game free of hackers and and we have legit players and, and replays and stuff like that this is the kind of setup you want um, you don't have to have it exactly like mine but you want the bosses to be closer together so that again when somebody attacks you have multiple bosses attacking them along with your towers okay that's your that's your key there okay so that's why you see and, and I'm gonna show you a couple of top uh, boss bases as well I mean a top uh, boss bases from some of the higher ranked players and I'll show you that most of them that are that have a, a nice defensive setup will have the same type of rhythm going on okay so that's the importance of defense so that's basically what I wanted to show you guys about uh, defense and how that works okay so now what I want to do is um, talking about this let's take a look at a couple of other players um first we'll look at my main account which is my first account i made this is um my account i actually paid on, on uh, my t mizzle account which is ranked number two take a look at that real quick and i'll show you how it's set up it's pretty much the same i kind of copied the base honestly and this is not the the best defensive base but it, i like it because it looks different okay i mess with different bases and, and different setups and i just like the way it looks so that's really what i said but as you can see my boss bases are right here in the center. I have one, two, three. My banks are right here close by. So if you if you come in the middle, if you come attack any of these banks, you're going to get hit by these boss bases here. You're going to get hit by these three towers in the front. I have the three towers in the back. And you have my bank, all my banks and my juice are close enough to get protected by any on any side. So this is very strong as far as protecting your resources on your your cash and your juice so you definitely want to go with something similar to this as far as having everything centered on your defense and your resources close by and another thing about having your 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 defensive uh you know bases and your your towers in the center like this is if someone attacks they have to attack from all of these walls so it takes them a while to even get to the the uh the towers to kill them or the boss bases 
So it's going to take them a while to get all the way in here to take these out before, you know, and by the time they, they get through these walls, they're going to they're going to be dead. I mean, they're going to be pretty much dead by the time they get through these walls. So that's that's the kind of defense you want to set up for those people that are looking to set up a strong defense. That's what you want to do. OK, now, um, some people believe that def a strong defense is also just letting your, you know, don't even provide defense. Just let them kill you to get you to shield. And, and that's cool. I have no problem with that. That is a nice strategy if you were farming. If you were farming just trying to save up cash and you didn't want to get attacked multiple times, then that's absolutely fine. You know, okay? But once you get to a certain level, guess what? You're going to have your, your storage is going to most likely be full and your your juice will be full at all times. You know, um, That's the case for me right now on my main account. I mean, I, I, I raid for experience. I don't raid for the cash and the juice anymore because I have, my storage is always full because I can't, after a while, you can't upgrade but you know two things or however many builders you have at a time. So you just continue to get cash as you level up. So that becomes not as important as just having a solid, strong base. And, you know, it's just fun to have a good, strong base. So um, I'll show you another design here. SMG, who's always had a very strong setup. I'm just going to really quit and big ups to SMG for having a, a really top notch base as well. He has six, he has a six boss base. So as you see, he has six of them in here in the middle. And I tell you right now, this is the probably, this is probably the strongest base in the game today. SMG. Look at this. Six boss bases in the middle. He has his towers in the middle. Even has like a level 10 tower. I don't know if that's 9 or 10, but it looks good. The one in the center there and, and all these other towers surrounding along with his soldier camps. If you go in here, you're getting crushed. Anywhere you attack on even the outside, even though he has his resources on the outside, anywhere you attack, he's got, he's got multiple things coming at you. If you on the outside of these walls right here, I mean at the bottom, at the top, on the sides, bosses are coming after you and these towers are going to crush you trust me these towers are going to crush you if you try to attack anywhere on this base at all outside inside the perimeter you're going to get crushed i've done it i've tried it it's not going to happen so big ups to smg for having the top notch uh defensive base um another one here is um uh, uh, jake's on you i just did a video um um on that uh, attacking his base same technique Again, like I told you, top-notch players, they know how to set up defense. Look, six boss bases all in the middle. You can't attack this guy from anywhere without getting crushed. Freaking towers. I mean, it's a nice little setup. It's different. I like it. Big ups to Jake's on you for having a nice defensive base. I couldn't beat him. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, I just wanted to show you. And one other. I'm going to do one more. Um, let's see. I got to find it real quick. Hold on one second. And this is a guy... Um, I'm going to give him a shout out because he's been, uh, and I get a lot of chats, um, a lot of whispers in game, you know, through the chat system and players, you know, asking questions and, you know, what can I do to help them and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I do my best to help anybody that, you know, wants to, uh, um, wants to be a better player. So I, I give my advice as best I can. Um, there's a player called Tex Pride and I'm going to give a shout out to you, Tex Pride. What's up? Uh, if I can find him real quick, hold on one second. I want to see if I can find him. I have him on my friends list on um, my other, my main account, and I don't think I have him on here. But if I can, uh, I ain't gonna be able to find him. That sucks, man. I wanted to show his base, but uh, hold on a minute. Maybe you know what? I think he might have been. Um, hold on one second. If I can find, him, I'm sorry. I hate. I should have been ready for that, but I just, I just thought about it. You know. I like to try to show the, some of my subscribers my YouTube channel. Show them some love, man. You know, I get these questions. Some, you know, these guys just want to play the game and enjoy it. And, and, you know, just reaching out to me and asking me questions that I mean, I'm honored, you know. So I welcome anyone who watches my videos. Hit me up in game, you know, through the chat system. Even though I don't like it that much because it's not quite as efficient as it should be. Hopefully I'll fix that. Hit me up on the chat in game. Hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Twitter, um, or just comment on one of my YouTube videos, okay? I would be more than happy to help you out as much as I can, all right? But I want to show this guy's base because he's um, he asked me a couple of days ago about setting up a defensive base. And I said, sure, let me help you out. And he, uh, he did it. He did a nice setup. And it's very successful so far from what he told me. You know, he said he has a couple of attacks from legit players. And it actually worked. And I just wanted to show it off because I thought, you know, that was awesome. Okay, so I can't pull it up. So what I'm gonna do here, 
since I can't pull it up and I'm sorry about that um, I'm so sorry I wish I could pull up his base because I really wanted to show him sorry about that text pride I tried to pull up your base I thought I had it memorized where you were at um, you are my friends list on my other account I don't have you on this account so sorry I could not find you in here but I wanted to show him your base man I hope that's okay um, he has a very solid base um, I'll try to get it on another video and just show you guys but he has pretty much the same type of setup okay he's got all his stuff kind of in the middle I mean he did his own little version of it and I just wanted to say big ups to tech bright you know great job you know great job on that okay so anyway couldn't find it I did try but um, like I said that covers pretty much the defense and and how that's going um, now real quick before the video gets way too long um, if you and, and by the way if you have any questions about defense you know please feel free to hit me up hit me up about it or if you want to see any other videos let me know I'll be more than happy to go over anything else you want to want to cover but real quick let me just show you what I have as far as my bosses um, I'm stuck I'm at 60 pretty much and 40 for this one Rafi guy but I I mean I have everybody at 60 right now as you can see and I've been raiding with these guys level 60 I, currently I'm just raiding for cash just to continue to do upgrades in my base while I'm waiting to get 10,000 street credit to get one of these three star bosses to four star so uh, again I'm stuck to level 60 and 40 on Rafi I can't really upgrade anybody until I get as you can see 10,000 street credit for just one of them imagine oh oh my god so that's my dilemma right now however it's not bad it's not bad I'm gonna to continue to play and raid and while doing that I'm gonna work on upgrading my walls besides my boss bases and my towers while I'm waiting and I can't do any more upgrades because of course you can see my two builders are busy upgrade your walls people that's when you upgrade walls you upgrade walls when you have that downtime while right now I can't use this cash to do anything, I'm going to upgrade these walls. That's what I'm going to do with it. So that's what you do. That's when you upgrade your walls, when you don't have anything else to do with the cash because you're currently, your builders are working. You know you're not going to have any any way to spend that money until another day or another eight hours. Upgrade your walls and continue to raid. Keep raiding. Get cash. Get juice. Upgrade your walls. Okay? So anyway, that was pretty much it for this video. Like I said, it was basically a defensive type video. Um... You want to do your boss bases your towers then of course your walls go ahead and get those while you're waiting okay uh, your walls once you get them to level 10 that's the highest they can go right now they're gonna be very tough to break through a lot of people are doing double walls that's fine um, you know the truth is double single don't really matter as long as those boss spaces and those towers are upgraded you're gonna crush those opponents so that's what you want to do to get your your defense going all right um, I think that'll cover this video it's been already too long so um, remember what I said any questions any ideas on videos or anything you want me to talk about make sure you hit me up on any of the um, the places I told you Facebook Twitter uh, YouTube in game don't matter okay um, that's it for, for today it's T Mizzle and I'm out. Peace.